peace, love, light, and happiness, divine souls. Gratitude to the most high. Um, I get this question X all the time. How do I raise my frequency? How do I raise how do I raise my vibration? I get it. I think this is one of the most questions I get all the time. And people overthink this. It's so simple and so so easy. So I'm gonna give you at least I'm gonna give you a couple, five, six, a couple ways to raise your frequency. Oof. It's surrounding yourself with high vibing people. Surround yourself with people that are with individuals that are um striving to become a better version of themselves. People that um that are ascending and, and walking into a divinity. People that um are so full of life, are so has so much love and so much kindness and, and, and it just displays that you could feel their posit positivity. The reason why I say this is very important is because you literally become what you surround and who you surround yourself by. Um, energy can be transmuted. It, you can you can transmute transmute your energy into someone else, and people's um, energy can trans can be transmute unto you. So if you're hanging around people that are negative and, and gossip all the time, and, and so much is always in drama, and is has so much hate and jealousy, guess what? That energy you're it's going to transmute onto you. So you you're you already have a low frequency. They have a low frequency, but then they their that energy that low energy that they have is going to transmute into your energy, which creates so much so much more. And, and manifest so much of the same type of um, energy. So it's like, you know how that saying goes? What you think, feel, and speak, you attract more of. So you want to make sure that you're not surrounding yourself constantly with negative, toxic, toxic gossiping, slanders, um, um, drama, people who just complain, are complainers, who complain about everything in life, but they're not doing anything to create a better life for themselves so these are the people you have to because these type of energy this type of people will drain your energy these will lower your frequency and again it could be a lot of family members are energy draining sucking individuals so yes you need to um limit your time that you spend with certain with those type of family members that are toxic and negative constantly you need to 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 limit your time that you spend around them like just because you're related just because you know they're your family member it's not an obligation or force to be around them and a lot of times a toxic person and family if you try to if you try to communicate that with them they will not understand they will just get mad and fuzz and and, and, and then start saying oh this this they'll start to i'm um, gaslight basically and make into making you feel guilty or bad or like you know you shouldn't you know we're family don't allow that you have to protect your energy at all costs from anyone friends family co-workers neighbor ch children anybody you have to protect your energy and those that cannot understand that and they always put up excuses or get mad because you chose you choosing yourself and your energy and your healing the people you have to stay away from they are toxic like you can't you can't sit there and allow those type of people to drain your energy just because you feel as though that's my mom that's my dad that's my sibling that's my grandma that's my aunt that's my brother it doesn't matter like i said family will drain the sh out of you and you need to choose you it doesn't matter who it is you have to choose you because at the end of the day everything in life is temporary everything even your family everything is temporary the longest relationship you're going to have is with yourself with yourself so you have to be calm with yourself. You can't destroy the one thing that you're going to need for the rest of your life, which is yourself. Which is yourself. So you always have to choose you. What about the person that is draining my energy lives with me or I live with them? Or say it's a spouse. Maybe it's a family member or somebody that your house, a children. Or it, listen, you have to, in that, in that case, let me say a spouse because... My husband could be an energy drainer. Let me put it that way. My husband, but I learned through the healing journey. I learned how to protect my energy. So I learned how 
on what to give my energy on and what not to give my energy on. And if somebody tries, somebody's energy is trying to transmute into mine, I quickly remove myself and I, I know how to handle certain things more and much better than I did at the beginning. So you will have to try to find a way to either go for a walk, spend some time with nature, um, read a book, go to a separate room, go to a separate room, quiet yourself, meditate, um, read, do yoga, work out. Um, it's very, very imperative that you surround yourself with people who help you um, get better, who people who makes you feel good, people who who are kind, are loving, people who who uplift your soul people people who make people whose energy transmute into you and makes you feel your highest and most happiest and most blessed those are the type of people you need to surround yourself by type of people person to stay away from are those people who you can't have a conversation a civil conversation with if you can't have a civil conversation with somebody and they're being biased you need to stay away from those type of you need to stay away from those type of people you have to become very 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 protective of your energy you have to become very protective of your energy you cannot skip you cannot skip this step so part of healing part of raising your vibration is surrounding yourself with people with uplifting people people that are striving to become a better version of themselves because people's negative energy and demons will and can attach to you so the second second way I would say that will raise your vibration is eating a high vibration and high alkaline food of life food. On a cellular level, you become whatever you eat. You literally become whatever you whatever you eat. Whatever you eat becomes your cells, becomes your tissues, becomes your flesh, becomes your body, and your body um, um, regenerates itself for like, regenerates you daily yearly monthly um and it does that by it does that and the way it does that is by the food and, and nutrition and nourishment that you intake you put into your body so whatever product you put you're using whatever um um food you 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 you're 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 consuming that's how your body regenerates itself your body literally absorbs absorbs what you feed it and what product you use it absorbs it it so if you're eating um um if you're feeding your body like um negative energy if you're if you're if you're eating um uh, food that's high in gmo and, and, and toxic and, and using product that has toxics in it and dead energy and dead carcass and water that's that that has been contaminated that's going to lower your frequency it, it's going to lower your frequency which is going to trigger your mood. It triggers your brain. It may, it, it um, messes with your emotions, and you'll be you'll be all over the place. So you have to try your very best to eat food that's alive. Because remember, we're light beings. We're alive. Nature has everything that we need. So you have to try your very, very, very best to eat food that are aligned with who we are. We're aligned with your true essence. You have to eat food that that is just alive. That's the type of food you have to try your very best to eat because when you eat high levels of um, high vibing foods, your meditation, it, it, it will improve tremendously your meditation, your yoga, your workouts. Like you will feel so amazing. Like alkaline food is food that is alive. Another way to raise your frequency is by um, grounding yourself. We have become so disconnected with nature and the source that we become like mindless zombies like mindless zombies and we're like we're not walking in our true essence self like who we truly are like um um like our ancestors um says it know thyself if you don't know who you are your vibration will always be low you must know who you are you must walk in your true essence and oftentimes, since, you know, we walk in concrete, which is not good, we wear shoes and sneakers that that um, disconnect us from the natural source, from the source, from, from, from nature, and from our divine self. We are divine. We are literally divine. So it's very imperative that we ground ourselves in nature because it, you will feel a tremendous energy and you will have, it's, it's, it's. I don't know how to really explain it, 
you just have to experience it you just have to do it for yourself but grounding is very very important like it's it is really it's part of us it's part of who we are because you're grounding yourself you're connecting with the soil you connect and all that energy inside the soil is from mother nature so all that energy is flowing through your whole your entire body so you, even from from grounding yourself you get information downloaded into yourself like you this is how beautiful the loss of life and nature um work how everything balances out for everything so that's another way to um raise your frequency another way to raise your frequency is by the sun allow your allow your body allow your skin your skin allow yourself to absorb that sun that sun like allow it to just soak it up because the sun gives us energy the sun's fuel everything like we if we didn't have a sun i would say we to try your very best to do it on a daily basis which i know sometimes it's not really possible because you know um sometimes it rains it snow whatever but if you're like in an area where it's not sunny all the time then even even better for you go um ground yourself and go um soak up that sun every single day but if you're if you're not fortunate enough like that soak up your soak up that sun every chance you get whenever the sun pops up is, is you wake up and you see how sunny make sure to step outside barefoot go ground yourself barefoot if you have somewhere to ground yourself at. And then go soak up that sun. I take advantage every time it's sunny. I, that's the first thing. I'm going to go soak up the sun. I'm going to go get these juice. I'm going to go melanate myself. I'm going to go download all these information. I'm I'm just, I just love the warm feeling of just sitting there. Whether it's for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, even an hour. Just sitting under the sun. Because you can actually feel the magic. You will actually feel the, like... You really could get information just from the sun. That's how that's it, it's like something it opens up a portal inside of you or something that it downloads just listen, it's beautiful. But that's another way to our um, way to raise your vibration is to do something that makes you happy. Do something that makes you feel good, that brings happiness to you, brings joy, whether it is to eat a favorite meal. Whether it is to go swimming, go hiking, go camping. Whether it is to play a game. Whether it is to uh, um, read. Whether it is to um, do a crossword puzzle. Whatever, whatever it is. Whether it's if um, like my one of the things that brings me joy. I know this might sound a little, but it's packing an order. I love, 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 love when I get orders. I love packing an order because I pack it with so much love. Like I. I literally do a happy dance every time I get an order. Like, you guys don't even understand. But anyway, um, you could do that. You could just um, go do a bubble bath. Go do um, whatever brings you peace. Go spend time with your children. Go spend time with your family. Go to the park. Whatever brings you. But make sure those family members are, or friends are um, high-vibing people. Not negative, toxic people. High-vibing people that's going to. Um, transmute or elevate your positive energy or it's going to give you that mm, that positive good feeling that you need so just do things that makes you happy like and be in moderation about it about it be make sure you're balancing everything out in life every life is about balance you have to balance everything so don't overthink things overthinking to just create chaos as well and it just it lowers your frequency to the max so it just Flow with life. Flow with the rhythm of life. The laws of nature. Listen, everything that you need is in nature. Everything that you, everything that you need, all the answers that you need, is in, within yourself. You're divine. You're divinely created. You're a light source. But a lot of people don't see that because they're so, they're in the lowest, lowest frequency, and they're just consuming all these toxic products and food, and they're a prisoner to the to the system. So it's, they don't, they will never. They will never or they haven't reached the level where they broke free and saw how much more beautiful life is outside that, um, on the other side of that wall. So, another and final way that you could raise your vibration is being kind. Ooh. Being kind, showing kindness, love. Love. We, our purpose is love. We have to show love. To the human nation, we have to show love to nature. You have, we have to show love to our, um, our animals. We have to show off. I mean, we spread love, spread so much love. Be humble. Be kind. Be kind to nature. Be kind to human. 
it doesn't matter if a person is mean is evil whatever that does not give you the right to be just like them or give them the same energy they're giving you because obviously they have not dealt with whatever darkness they have within themselves whatever war they created within themselves they haven't come to realization that everything that they need to heal every answer that they need to the frustration or the negativity or the toxic life is literally within themselves they have the power to create um a better living but they have it's just a reflection of them so you cannot you know um vibe so high that other people's energy does not bother you. It won't even budge. It, it won't even make you budge. That's how hard you gotta vibe. You just understand that there there that people are ignorant. That people ignorance are in an all time high. So you have to vibe that. You have to raise your frequency that high, where stuff like that will not bother you. Will not phase you. You had that's that's how you know when you're in a high frequency, like that. But being kind and loving is the most two most important um, key and ways that you can raise your vibration. Don't get me wrong. Surrounding yourself with high vibing and high frequency people is because you it is no other way around. The more you complain, it's the more you're manifesting that. This, listen, power words are spells. So whatever you speak out your mouth out of your mouth. You're going to invite that into your life. So in order to manifest and create your reality, you have to learn how to break free, first of all, from the system. Elevate your frequency, your vibration. Raise your vibration. Heal. But heal eternally. Stop worrying about the outside. Stop worrying about... Heal. When, when you heal eternally, the outside blooms. And people could tell that you're healing because they will look at you like, oh my gosh, she's glowing or whatever the situation is. People will feel your energy even through a phone. So you have to get to that level where, you know, you 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 just won't complain anymore. You don't you don't want to continue your life complaining because complaining is a toxic trait as traits as well and it lowers your, your fre frequency. You're gonna keep yourself trapped inside and you will never get out because you're still you still haven't realized that really, really you hold the power to your own reality. Really, really, whatever you're facing, whatever you're dealing with, only you can fix it. You must heal. Break away from the from from the system. Stop celebrating the the wicked um the wickedness inside of it. Stop following the wickedness inside of it. Heal the herbs from nature. Um, and you have to um work on yourself. Just work on yourself. Those are very important things you must do in order for you to elevate higher. You have to kick out the toxic traits that are inside of you. You have to heal. It boils down to healing. Healing, 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 healing. You can't come put a band-aid on complain and think, okay, I'm going to pick it up later. No, you have to just throw it out. Throw it away. That's it. You can't sit there and have the, have the mind that, oh, but I grew up with this. It's all in you it's within you 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 not me not anybody else it's within you you want a better life it's within you you could create that you want a higher frequency it's within you you could create that you could raise your frequency you want to heal from all the pains and, and traumas it's within you you want to create, manifest uh, uh, the house of your dream, a half a million dollars, or or successful business? It's within you. The power of a lot lies within you, within you. And like I said before, I go. <clears throat> let me make something very clear, because I'm pretty sure some people are thinking like, okay, so if it's within me, why are you still in the same location? Let me say very clear, very clear. I share what I share because it's it's part of me sharing my journey my raw journey because i want people to see the beginning during and the end and the continuance my thing is just because you see me here that doesn't mean that i'm working behind closed door that doesn't mean the universe haven't shown me things that's haven't been giving me what i what i've been created what i've been manifesting just because i don't brag about it or post it on the uh, on on social media doesn't mean it's happening because baby, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. I just, that part, I keep personal because 
a lot of times sometimes you can't you can't speak out loud what are your goals and plans are because the devil is a damn liar huh the devil is a damn liar and he would try to come in and whoop, destroy your plans so this is why i say like you're not you're not seeing it because i'm not posting it but it's happening i'm manifesting things i am manifesting things and even when i slack oh i had hit my rock bottom a few a couple weeks ago that i had low energy like my energy was all over the place i still i still was pushing through and i still was giving my gratitudes i still was giving my grat gratitudes are very important as well to raise your frequencies and to manifest your own reality as well gratitudes are very very important you have to be show gratitude even if you don't see it like even if you don't feel like if you if you're going through something if you lost everything your job you don't got no food you're not and your car breaks down give gratitude give gratitude i'm telling you it's very 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 powerful it's very powerful when i do this side which i don't know if i am but when i do this side i mean i will a little bits and pieces because a part of my journey i say when i do decide to share my reality my manifestation Baby, just know the universe did it in healing. In healing, but it's here. It's been I've been manifesting things. It's here. It's here. And the crazy part, the beauty of it is, I'm not even in my highest frequency yet. So can you imagine what powerful things I could create, and manifest? When I'm in my when I be when I become at my highest and raise my frequency my highest that I could possibly be, it's, it's gonna be over. It's gonna be over. It's gonna be over. Uh-uh. But having it, I did I know a little bit of things that I could actually manifest with just the thoughts. With just a thought into the universe. They've been witnessing it. I'm trying to tell you, listen, I really do this because I want people to I want people to benefit of like I have. I want people to benefit. Because listen, enough is enough. Enough is enough. The system has has destroyed us. The system ha has created so much chaos. And, and they try to kill us. I'm trying to have people break out of that. Break out of that. And literally walk in your true essence. Walk in who you are. In your per I'm listen, let me go. Because I'm making this video too damn long. Let me go. But... I hope this helped anyone who needs it. Anybody got any questions or would like another video that certain video you want me to speak about or whatever it is to share or something you want to know. And again, I will try the best of my knowledge to share what I know. The information has that has been downloaded from the universe into me. I don't get my information anywhere else but from the universe. So, with that being said, peace, love, and light and happiness. Release. Heal to rise and create your own reality i hope everyone has an amazing beautiful day today and remember do everything we got with gratitude in your heart and display kindness and, and, and love and when you're doing that please don't record it and put it on the media don't do that that's a low frequency move that's low okay